Have you ever lost a quadcopter or a drone or any type of RC craft of any kind? If you have, then you know the feeling of ultimate suffering that goes along with this. And now I have the solution for you to never again lose one of your precious quadcopters. That answer is the Vi Fly Beacon and the Vi Fly Finder 2. Now, these are two all inclusive self powering buzzer solutions for your quadcopters that have a couple of different options on board and why you should never again risk being without one of these things. If you have ever crashed in an open field, um, if you're out long ranging, got away from you, got distracted, a dog came up and bit you on the side of the leg or a very large rat. I don't think they exist. <laughs> then you know what a pain it is to go and then find it. It can drive you to the cliffs of insanity. But if you have one of these Vifly buzzers or beacons uh, on board, then finding your quad can be quick and easy because these things have a buzzer built in that is louder than the shrieking eels. And unlike the eels, these will actually be helpful to you. Now, how do they work? Well, the Vifly Beacon has a tiny, tiny little one cell LiPo battery on board and you plug it in via the USB port on board. Now, both of these come in a great little package uh, that has everything you need to get it up and going. Now, let's talk about actually the Finder 2 first. The Finder 2 comes with a little wiring harness. Where does that go? That plugs onto the buzzer pads of your flight controller, uh, which then goes plugged into here. And as your battery is plugged in, this will actually charge itself while you're flying. And if you should become lost in the tall grass, in a tree, in anywhere where you can't find it, it's very surprising just how easily a full-size five-inch quad can become all but invisible in even the shortest of grasses. If you have ever had only an hour or two to fly, crashed in the first five minutes, and then spent the remainder of that time searching for your quad in concentric circles, Oh my gosh, you may have wanted to feel like your quad is dead, but no, it was only mostly dead. But you, even if you did find it, all of your precious flight time has been, you know, squandered. What if you're at a race, and this has happened to me before, you get disoriented, you crash, you fly somewhere out in the field beyond the track, and now every one of the 20 or 30 people that are there have to pause. The entire race has to come to a stop while you're frantically walking around and you can't find it oh my gosh this is the solution guys this is much louder than your ESC tones or some of those little other little buzzers that are built in now because this is attached to the buzzer pads if it detects that your battery has been ejected it will beep and that's the problem with a lot of the onboard buzzers on on board when your battery is ejected then you have no way to know where your quad is this is the solution. Now, both of these have um, functionality in there. They have a little light sensor on there. So what if you're flying somewhere behind your neighborhood or something like that? And you were to crash in a tree, you couldn't find it, um, and it's starting to get dark. You don't want to annoy your neighbors and have them call the Brute Squad. Beat it or I'll call the Brute Squad. I'm on the Brute Squad. You are the Brute Squad. On you? <laughs> you want them to be able to sleep in peace so what it will do is actually switch and activate a very bright blue led on here that will act as a visual beacon for you to find your quadcopter very impressive and useful now the beacon works very similarly except instead of connecting direct to your buzzer you connect this to a usb port so you charge this manually with a usb and then when you arm it um, it has a crash sensor on board and what it will do is if it senses a sharp crash, the buzzer will activate. If there's been no activity for five minutes, the buzzer will activate. Now this, you do have to manually arm it um, by holding the button combination down. I'll put that on the screen. But look how tiny it is. This is my Armor 10 Marmot, my premium build. The most expensive build that I have at the moment, and there's no way I would ever want to lose this. 
Uh, and so look, it's so small. I can just put it in there. I can hold it with a zip tie and look what I've done here. I actually have the USB port facing out to the side so I could plug this in and charge it without ever removing it. That's how easy it is to install. Just shove it in, installed. So, don't fall victim to one of the classic blunders. The most famous is never get involved in a land war in Asia, but only slightly less well known. Fell victim to one of the classic blunders. The most famous is never get involved in a land war in Asia, but only slightly less well known is this. Is never go fly one of your premium build quadcopters or bind and flies like this Nazgul without the aid of one of these Vi Fly buzzers, guys. It's just not worth it. These things are so cheap. Right now you can get one of these, um, the Finder 2 on sale. I'll leave a code in the description below for as little as $12 and change. And they always range between 12 and $20. So definitely worth it for a little bit of extra insurance to ensure that all will never be fully lost. Now I've been asked a few times, what is a good solution for being able to find your quad in the field? So as you wish, here it is. Thanks guys. Anybody want to feel it? Yeah!